Today we're going to take a look at Book Creator, which is, if you look at the top row, it's the third one in uh, multicolored with kind of scissors cutting out of the book. So when I initially click on Book Creator, you're going to have this book right here, the Getting Started Guide. Um, it's a short tutorial. I'm going to have some links and things to some other tutorials in there, but you can go through and browse through that. Um, to open a book, you just simply click on it. And you see in the right hand side there as an arrow that I can go ahead and that informs me that there's another page. And this is what a two page book creator looks like. And you can insert images, you can insert text and all different types of things. And this kind of just kind of shows you how to do those types of things. In the top left hand corner there, you see my books. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to click my books. I'm going to scroll through. I made this book a couple years ago for my nephew. Um, this one here is a classic dart that I made when I took the iPad 2 class. And then this one here is my portfolio for when I was going for a new inter for a new job. Um, what I can do is I can go ahead in the top left hand corner and I can click new book. And when I click on the new book, I have a couple of different options. The top three options are your basic books. Um, the bottom three options are more of comic style books. So for today's intents and purposes and tutorial, I'm going to show you the square book, but know that there's other options there. So here I am on the cover of my book and I have to add some text. So in the top right hand corner, there's the plus sign and there are all your options. And I'm going to first add text. So I click on the add text button and I just simply add text. Um, when I'm done with my text, I simply hit the word done and it's going to insert my text and it kind of looks plain and boring. So when that is highlighted or when anything in Book Creator is highlighted, you can click the I in the top right hand corner and that's the inspection tool. In the inspection tool, you're going to see some basic editing features that you sh should be familiar with if you've used Microsoft Word, Google Docs, those types of things. Um, but what's really cool here is if I want to increase the, the font size of my text that's highlighted, I can just click and drag and now you can see that that has become a little bit bigger, a little too big. I can change the font by clicking on the font and it comes standard with many different fonts um, and they break them down into different categories. So I'm going to go with this special elite one and I can hit the back button. I can change the color of the text by clicking on the color. I like white text and I'll show you why in a second. I can click back again. Um, the background of that particular box, I could change that if I wanted to. And notice that my text is not being seen, so I need to drag that out now. So I click on it and I drag it out, and now I can maneuver this. So anytime anything is, um, has that blue border around it, if you click the I, that gives you a lot of different information. Now, notice when I click that I again, I have the text in the top left hand corner but right next to that I can click page and now this is I can change the page color of each of my pages so right now it's white um, I like to go with the black I like the white on the black so now I can do this and I have this is part of my cover okay so I added text and I changed the background now if I click that plus button again I have a couple of different options um, let me start with photos so the first time you actually click on this, it's going to ask you to enable your photos and you want to click OK because what that's going to give you is the availability to add photos. So I have all different types of photos in here as you've seen in previous videos. So what I can do here is I can insert anything that's in my camera roll. So if you notice the camera or the, the film, I can insert a film if I wanted to or I could insert a still picture. So I'm going to insert one image I'll insert Tony's face. Now notice that that's scrolling a little bit. That's because that was taken probably on my iPhone. Um, so there's an image and notice I have that blue background again around it. So I can click the inspector and I can do a couple of things here. So this particular image I could just leave it as a, if I wanted to leave it as is if I wanted to. I could also add a link here so when people clicked on the picture they could go to it. So I'm going to add Tony's website and that's learning in hand. I'll just hit that dot com button. Oh, learning.
I spelled it right, that would help a little bit. Learning in head, learning in hand dot com. So I can hit done. And now anytime you click on that picture, you could actually go to that. And so I could also go to the page and I could change some things there if I wanted to. So I'm just going to leave that just as is. And that's my cover of my book. To add a new page, I'm just going to simply hit the arrow to the right. Now here's my second page. So now I can go through all of those different things again. I can hit the plus sign. If I wanted to, I could add a sound. So I could add two different sounds. I could start recording. So many, so I could start recording. This is my book and I love to reuse this feature because what I can do is I can have students record what they've typed. Um, for primary age students, they could take a picture of their writing and they could then say what their writing is because God forbid some of us, we don't know what that writing actually says. So that is very, very powerful. Um, so that's the recording piece. I'm going to hit stop here. Yep, I want to use that recording. I hit yes. And this kind of looks like the old PowerPoint. Um, so that is there. If I hit the plus sign again and I go back to add sounds, this time I could add or import from my music. So I have my artists. And let's see here. I have Don't Worry Be Happy. I can hit that and I can add that. And now if I go back to here, I can put some text in. To let people know that that's what that is. Okay, so I can keep going and I can add more pages. I can keep going and add a fourth page. You can see as I climb or I add that plus sign, it goes page four to four. If I want to go back to a page, I just simply hit the arrow to the left and I can go back a page. I can go back to page two or I can go back to my cover. Now, what's really neat as well is maybe I need to reconfigure or change the order of my pages. In the top left hand corner next to my books, it says pages. So I can go ahead and here into the pages and I don't want that page where I put the two um, audio links. I want to do something different. So I can click and hold and I can drag and make page two, make page three, page two, and make page two, page three. When I'm finished, I can hit done. And now I can click back on that actual page because what I want to show you here is really powerful. Um, I'm going to add some text and I'm going to call this the table of contents. Because remember when I linked Tony's page to the to his website. So what I can also do is I can link just like a table of contents page to a page. So here I'm going to add some more text. Um, I'm just going to call this page one. So that's highlighted. Remember I can hit the I in your inspector button and I can go to Oh, let me backtrack. <clears throat> when I click on this here, I can select all and highlight it. And then I have several different options. But the one option that I have is this link option. So now I can go to a web address or a page number. And I'm going to go to page th two. So all I have to do there is put a page two. But it's telling me that that's what I need. OK. So now I can hit return and I can go page three or page two, sorry. I can highlight it and I have should pop up, should be a link. And now this is going to be page three. And it took away my highlight up here. So let's link that back again. That's going to be page two. Okay, so when I'm finished, there I have two pages of links that when I can actually go out and I can check this out, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, it will actually jump from my table of contents to page one or to page two. So an informational text would be amazing for this type of thing. So I've showed you the plus sign, I've showed you inspector. The last thing I want to show you is that share button, the top. And what I have here is just like anything else, I can share this. Um, wherever I want to go. To check links and to see how sounds look and how your book looks, you want to be able to click that share button. And what that's going to do is we want to take that and we want to copy it into iBooks.
which we worked with earlier. So if I can copy this into iBooks, now what's going to happen is I can check out my links, I can see if they work, I can see if my sound works, and it looks like a book. So remember I can click on this book here, and now what I can do is I can click on Tony's page, and it's going to take me out hopefully to learninginhand.com. And it does, and there's Tony's website. Um, top left hand corner of this, I can go back to my iBook. I can turn my page by going like this. Now I can hit page one. It's going to take me there. Now I can click page two. So those links don't work. Maybe I need to fix them. Let's check my sound, see how they sound. This is my book, and I love to use this feature because what I can do is I can have students record what they've typed. Um, for primary age students, they could take a picture. Okay, so that works. Let's check this sound. Okay, so that works as well. So now I have to go back and I have to fix my, my links. So I double click and I come back to Book Creator here. And what I can do is I'm going to have to edit this. So I can double click. And let me highlight again. And if I hit the link, um, it should go to page two. And I'll double check that. And this should go to page three. Okay. So now I need to go to my pages. So that's, oh, there's my problem. So this is page three and that's page four. So I've got to go back and I've got to change this. So link. That's page three, and this is page four, and I can hit done, and now I should be able to change those and fix those and everything else. So Book Creator, very, very powerful, very, very um, engaging for students. Now, I want to show you one last thing, and that is how do you change the, the, or the, the title of the book and the author? So I'm finished with my book. I love it. I previewed it in iBooks. When I click the My Books over here, it's going to take me back to all those books that I created um, from the beginning of this video. It's acting very, very slow today, and I'm not sure why it's doing that. So here's my book now, iPads and Education. Right below that where it says, you see it says A New Book by A period N period author. When I click on that there, I can change this and I'm going to call it iPads in Education. And the author of the book is me. And I can hit done. And notice now that that has changed to iPads in Education. And I can go ahead and I can do whatever I wanted with it. So there is a brief tutorial on how to use Book Creator.